Hello YouTube! I am Mandy and this is Mandy's Makeup Adventures and today we're going to discover a little bit about Cargo Cosmetics. Now I had never heard of Cargo but their packaging was so pretty. I got this out of a K. Jordan catalog. I got credit um, and then I got some of their clothes and then I bought some of their makeup and it's very interestingly packaged especially the blush and the bronzer in these little tins um, I've got the foundation I've got a lipstick got a lippy eyeshadow palette blush and bronzer so we're gonna try it out today and I'm really excited to see what happens because like I said I'd never heard of it and I was shopping for clothes on K Jordan aren't my sunflowers pretty pretty sunflowers um, I was shopping for um, clothes on K Jordan and then it said makeup and I was like curious so I'm like mm, what's in there and they had all this cargo cosmetics stuff so and then I found this lip gloss at Kohl's um, in a discount section so I was like what's going on with that um, I burned myself right here with a curling iron so don't worry it's just a burn. Um, we're going to use the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I wanted to check it out. I got this, I think, in Ipsy. I'm pretty sure it was an Ipsy uh, thing that I got that in. So we're going to try it out. Feels, oh, it smells so good. Gosh, it smells good. Oh my gosh. If this stuff works on my face, I'm going to bathe in it. It's so good. Ah, it's so nice. It smells really good. And it goes on. Um, it's like gel wet type. Um, fan it off here like a gel wet consistency which I like not gonna lie and now it's kind of tacky which I also like so we're gonna go in with this cargo cosmetics swimmable long wear foundation and um, I've never heard of a swimmable foundation before I wish I was going swimming today to test it but I'm not because it's raining here in Ohio been raining for the last couple days. I don't know what is wrong with the pump on this, but it's so hard to get product. Like, I'm still pumping. You hear that, ASMR people? I guess there's just so much air in it. Where is the foundation? Come on. You can do it. Maybe not. Maybe I have to open it up. That is so weird. Let's open it and see what's going on here. It looks like it has broken in there. Let's just get some out and put it on the brush. Although that's annoying. We're gonna look past it to see if the foundation itself is any good. So I'm just putting a few little drops of um, this Tarte bronzer in there because this is not my color anymore, this really light color. When I bought it, that was my color. Okay, it's a lot of foundation I have on here. So I don't know how that's going to work out. But we will see. That's my husband in the background. He's okay. <laughs> it's okay, baby. So definitely put too much on. 
You can tell that by the way that my brush sounds, but the color looks pretty good. Yeah, the color looks pretty good. I've definitely got way too much of this out, but it don't look too bad. Oh no, I've got one of them little dry patches on my eye. Makes it really difficult to set things down. So I'd say. This house is cooled off really nice. I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's very cool. Yeah, Good. the house has cooled off a lot. You're right. So yeah, um. This seems like a nice medium coverage. But see, I look pale. I look so pale compared to my body. So I'm definitely gonna have to do an awful lot of work with the bronzer to even that out. So I'm going to put on a lot of bronzer. So first, let's um, seal up the foundation with, with this Cover FX powder. Set that. I really like this Cover FX powder because it's got this little flip top thing in here to where you can. Okay. Love you. Love you, babe. So, um, you know what I was saying? Oh, yes. So I like the, I like the flip top on this Cover FX powder. And I do like the finish of the powder also. But it's just like everything else, it's in my light color. And since I work outside, I am not that color anymore. down nicely over top of the foundation. I'm really not seeing any need for um, a concealer at this point. I think the foundation does a really good job. That particular foundation um, <clears throat> has more coverage than what I'm used to and so I think that's a good thing. We're gonna go into the bronzer and I love the little tin that it's in. It's very cute, convenient, I really like that. And so, I'm gonna use an angled contour brush. Uh, this is from the Billion Dollar Brushes. Got this in a boxy charm. Okay, let's see if we can bronze things up. A lot. Yeah, 
So when I do my um, regular bronzing routine, I don't put it so much everywhere and on the nose, but I feel like with this light of a foundation, we have to bronze up. Mount up. It was a clear dark night, I think. It was a clear white moon. It was a clear black night. It was a clear white moon, maybe. I don't know what it was. <laughs> but it was the regulators. <laughs> regulators. Mount up. Okay, so beyond all that nonsense, see how I've warmed myself all up? with just some bronzer and I actually really like this bronzer it's got a slight sheen to it but it's a warm bronzer which I like a lot so we like the bronzer we're, we're we kind of like the foundation the foundation's going pretty good I got the blush in the color Bali and um, I like this as well the tin factor is so super cute so I'm just gonna blush it up a little on the nose yeah I just love the tins I don't know why but they make me happy so so I've got some creasing um, on the foundation. Did not use a concealer, and I've got a little bit of creasing underneath the eyes. But other than that, everything held up really well. So now we're gonna move on to Monsieur Palette. This guy, I think, is. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. I have to bend down and sorry should never have happened <laughs> I grab a drink of pop I drink too much soda friends it's bad it's bad for you it's bad for me I shouldn't do it okay so look at all the pretty mandalas on the packaging on this it's so pretty and then it's magnetic right here and it opens up like this and I just thought it's a really nice um, neutrally kind of palette um, with lots of golds and I'm wearing yellow so thought that and that's my husband's extremely loud phone <laughs> I don't know why it's like that here let me let me switch out and use my rose gold mirror since I've got this sunshiny look going on so I'm using my uh, typical retractable brow pencil from Wet and Wild. I love this one, as you guys know, because it's so easy. If you are new, welcome here. Um, if you'd like to be part of my um, of my family here on YouTube and join the adventure. I guess I guess I would call you my adventurers <laughs> since it's Mandy's excuse me Mandy's makeup adventures I guess you guys would be my adventurers <laughs> so we're always open to more adventurers on the adventure it makes things more fun and there's more mystery to it. It's just, it's good times. So, I am happy that you're watching if you're new. And please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. Do they look okay? I know they're not supposed to be twins, but I always am like, 
kind of see there it goes again like it's so super loud so loud okay and then I'm just gonna comb through it a little bit comb it up a little bit I think those look pretty good all right now we're gonna jump into this palette and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the color Deli, which is a real light cream color. We're gonna put that all over our lid and then that's to set down um, the base, which is, there, let me clean that up as best I can. And it might have a little pink in it because of my previous color, but I won't mind. So, just taking it and putting it all over the lid, like so. I think I'm going to hit my eyebrows with <clears throat> another pencil. It's just a, a brown eyeliner pencil. This one's from Estee Lauder. I've used this for years um, for my brows. It really does uh, somehow make my brows look more natural. Don't ask me how it does it. Science is not my gig. But yeah, I like that better. Yay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry for the distraction. Now we can get back to it. I'm still using the color Deli. It's such a lovely little cream color. The eyeshadow is a little bit powdery, but it's still working out just fine right now. And it doesn't seem to be getting all over the palette. It just kicks up a little bit as you pick it up on your brush. Now we're going to go in for our transition shade. We're going to use the shade Henna right here. It's like a mid-tone cool brown. And we're going to go into the crease and do our windshield wiper movements. You can see right away the uh, color payoff from this. It's blending really well with the cream underneath. Yeah, like so far we have um, a very, very nice soft matte look. I really like it. I'm here for it. It's um, it's very blendable. plain brush to the bottom of it. Okay, so now I am going to go in with the color Lotus, which is the cream shimmer right next to Deli. I'm going to put that on the inner half 
of the lid. And this is very, very, very creamy. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. I absolutely love that, it's so gorgeous. Yes, please. Okay, now I'm gonna put the color Diwali, which is the gold color. Just put that all over the rest of the lid. Loud ass phone again. Excuse me. Uh, like I said, can't get demonetized. Don't make any money yet. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Hope I don't get kicked off the the old YouTube for saying that. Please don't kick me off. I have fun here. Okay. I love these shimmer shades. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and we didn't even use them all. I think I'm going to use just a little bit of this. The, it's a dark brown shimmer. It's called Bollywood. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. So now we have kind of an ombre eyelid thing going on. It's super pretty and I'm super here for it. And each color just blends seamlessly into the next when I'm putting it down on the lid. Wow, wow. I love this. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a smaller brush. It's made for detailing. And I'm going to use this these two green colors, chakra and ah, the brush just fell out. Uh, chakra and Darjeeling. Wow! So I'm just putting that across the bottom, and I'm sure you can see it's like a deconstructed. Uh, sunflower. You have your greens at the bottom and your golds and browns at the top. How pretty. How pretty, how pretty. Wow. I really like this palette from Cargo. I don't know how you guys feel about Cargo. Comment down below if you've tried Cargo products before and whether you liked them or, or it was a no for you. I had never heard of the brand and then I'm like, okay, well I've got a credit card for this uh, K. Jordan thing. I'm just gonna try out this makeup see what it's about and girl it's about yes yes please okay I'm gonna take that transition shade that we were using henna and I'm gonna strengthen up the corner there over here. Okay, and then I'm going to use this dark brown called Sari. I'm going to put that just in the corners.
Wow, so I got a sunflower on my eyes. I'm super impressed, actually. <laughs> That's, wow. Okay, so do I like this palette? Yes, absolutely. Um, so let's use a couple other things. We have, um, yikes, yikes, yikes. I actually want to do this um, Estee Lauder pencil in the waterline. I don't know if when you say waterline, you think of Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Got 80 feet of the waterline, vastly making way. I mean, Every time I say waterline, that's what I think in my head. I know I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Get used to it. Okay. Um, we're going to go with our trusty tartiest um, liquid liner. Now I'm going to stay really close to the lash line, as close as I can. And then I'm going to make a little wing. My cat is scratching at the door. I'll have to get her as soon as I'm done with my video. Looks good. The same. Sorry, it is difficult to draw this and keep your. Keep your hands steady and look in a mirror like this. It's just really hard. Really good. Oh, this takes you long. My goodness. I need to be worn out before I get done with it. My cat went from scratching at the door to inside the house eating. I don't know how that happened. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I literally just don't know what happened. 
Okay, so I'm going to use that uh, Milk Makeup Lash Primer. Because I've been using this pretty frequently since I've gotten it. Which was only a couple days ago, but I do like a bunch of looks a day and then whichever my best ones are, that's what I put on the channel. So I've really been enjoying it. it it's like, I'm going to use the Lily Lashes. It's it's not as good as the Sills Booster from uh, Long Kong, but it's close. I will give it that it is close. So I like that I get so many products in my Ipsy and BoxyCharm. I feel like then I only have to really splurge on eyeshadow palettes and sometimes face palettes. Just depends. I like fun stuff like uh, lippies and stuff. I feel like I'm getting a cold too, which is so funny because it happens to me all the time. I'm like, I feel like I'm getting a cold. I feel like I'm getting a cold. It's all a part of my lovely EDS. So I really like the eye look. I love the way it turned out. I think it's fantastic. Okay, now we're on to the lippies. So I got a lipstick which is like a coral shade and I got this lip gloss so we're gonna use them both and see how we like them okay I can already tell you I like this color a lot it comes out way more coral um, to me than it will on your screen I think But it's so bright and pretty and it goes with this eye look really well. It's, it feels like it's very creamy. It's very creamy and I like that. There's nothing wrong with it. It just feels really creamy. Um, I like the color of it. It's pretty much everything about it. I like because these are not cheap items. Um, cargo. This one was because it was at Kohl's uh, marked down. This is the lip gloss in Tuscany. Which just kind of Pinkens up that coral, makes it more pink. I really like that. So, overall, um, <clears throat> the cargo products, let's see about that foundation. It did do quite a bit of, um, of creasing under the eyeball. I'm buffing away the problem areas. So that looks good. And then, <clears throat> my goodness, I'm telling you there's something going on. To use my hourglass flash stick highlighter which I did not get in my boxy charm it's what I selected for boxy charm but that's not what came and so I 
um, ordered it offline <laughs> and got it no problem so yeah I really love the uh, foundation I love the bronzer the blush the eyeshadow palette and the lipstick and gloss I think it's all very nice good quality um, something to spend your coin on and I, I love my little look it's it's really neutral kind of goldy very um, everyday makeup kind of look so you'll have to tell me what you think down below is cargo cosmetics like the next big thing I don't know I don't know how long they've been around um, but this is a, and I forgot to tell you that this is called the namaste in India uh, palette and um, I really love it guys it's awesome check them out you can find them on cargo cosmetics you can find them on uh, K Jordan and um, yeah that's about it thank you guys so much for watching my video please like subscribe share my video feel free I would love to um, talk to everybody all right that just got super weird, right? <laughs> I'm really good at that. Bye, YouTube. I'll see you very, very soon.